Its producers say it's in a class of its own. The Ultra is a cross between a drone and a light aircraft that can be controlled from anywhere in the world. British company Windracers has allowed us into their new production facility where the unmanned aircraft system, or UAS, is put together. The Ultra is made here at this factory in Fairham and used on the front line in Ukraine for resupply, but is also able to drop and detect. Dozens of this aircraft have already been sent to Ukraine, with more going in the coming weeks. This footage is of the Ultra in Ukraine, designed to reach deep behind enemy lines, carrying a payload of 150 kilos over 1,000 kilometers. Responding to mission needs, wind racers will be upgrading the Ultra to carry 200 kilos over 2,000 kilometers in the coming months, about the same distance as London to Kyiv. So this is the uh, Wind Racers Ultra Mark II. It's a 10 meter wingspan uh, unmanned aircraft um, designed for uh, cargo and logistics delivery, but it's a, it's a dual use platform for civilian and military applications. It's made almost entirely from aluminium and it's a you know, very simple design, uh, makes it cheap to build and very repairable in the field. Another big selling point is uh, the level of redundancy that we have on the platform. So we've got two engines, uh, obviously. Um, our flight control system is duplicated. That really makes it very robust to system failures um, or external threats. And in terms of GPS jamming, how does it defend against that? A big issue in Ukraine at the moment. Absolutely. So we have multiple GPS antennas. And in certain environments, we can also use hardened antennas, uh, which are resistant to jamming. Uh, they've really proven quite effective to date. And what are some of the design features that you've had in mind when designing this aircraft for operational use in places such as Ukraine? Yeah, so the, uh, the design of the cargo bay um, is, is a really important feature. Uh, we can't show you today, but um, it's designed to be really easy to load and unload. Uh, and the floor of the bay is also modular, so it can be swapped out in very little time to undertake different missions. The cargo bay, which we couldn't see for security reasons, is one of the Ultra's major selling points. As well as delivering necessities, it can carry surveillance equipment and conduct precise airdrops, giving the Ukrainian military more options on the front line than most fixed-wing drones being used in the war. Since the beginning of the full-scale invasion, we saw Russia using Iran's cheaply made Shahed Kamikaze drone, which used a moped engine to deliver its deadly payload. And there's Russia's Orland fixed-wing recce drone, which is mainly used for gathering intelligence. You also have Ukraine's turbo-jet-powered missile drone, Palyanitsia, which we've seen strike Russia energy infrastructure in the last year. Smaller quadcopters and FPV drones are flooding the battlefield in Ukraine. They're fast, cheap and easy to manoeuvre at a short range. However, it's these traditional aircraft-looking fixed-wing drones that are used for long-range missions deep behind enemy lines. We respond to what the Ukrainians are pushing us for. There is uh, iterations nearly every week. It's quite phenomenal, the pace of development. And I think, again, this is another thing which this war has pushed the boundaries on, is the speed of innovation. I don't think there's ever been a war where things have moved uh, so rapidly forward. What makes your aircraft so different? Uh, there are a lot of manufacturers of drones. They're not actually many manufacturers of any uh, making drones of this size carrying this level of payload over this distance. So at the moment we are in a category of one, uh, but uh, and I'm sure that will change in, in time. But it's um, a lot of the drones being used out in Ukraine are, are li I'm for different roles and they are low payload, shorter range. And this is at the other end of the spectrum. So it's a completely different capability from what you'd normally associate with drones. The Ultra has even been on display in Parliament to showcase the role British autonomous aviation is playing in Ukraine. Wind racers can make 10 of these a month, aiming to double production in the next two years. We're told it's also used by the UK armed forces in a range of roles, although specifics couldn't be revealed. But watch this space. Sophie Kakianis, BFBS Forces News, Fairham in Hampshire. Thanks for watching. For more from BFBS Forces News, like and subscribe to our channel.